Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here a uh, another unboxing and review, and this is from uh, Sepia Writing Accessories. And if you don't know, Sepia Writing Accessories are based in Turkey. Uh, you will find that some of uh, their products are actually uh, sold uh, on the Galen Weather website. They they seem to sort of. Uh, sell through there, but they also sell on their own website. So I think let's unbox this. So this was something that it was a set that I purchased, and you can see here, sepia, artistic and functional accessories, and you've got everything uh, in uh, this package. So I think let's just remove this, and you will see. A number of things so first off here if I remove this you'll see a little key charm which is nice to better put on a, um, a notebook uh, you get a little wax seal and a thank you coupon and their website is uh, uydesign.ist I think IST is uh, Istanbul because uh, that's where they are based in Turkey and You'll see here, there is a notice that says, Caution, ink gets on the dip holder part. When the ink gets on the dip holder part, wipe it off with a cologne wipe and warm water. Uh, some calligraphy inks may leave ink marks. Likewise, keep the inside of the ink bottle cap and the glass bottle gears clean. Uh, when they say gears, I think they actually mean the threads. Uh, maybe a little bit lost in, in translation there. But this is what you get. So, so first off, uh, you do get uh, this pen, and it is a dip pen, but it's a really, really beautiful pen. Uh, I have to say, I'm actually in awe. Um, you can bend this if you want to, and bend it to a, a angle as well. Um, I think I probably would actually leave it more straight than anything. But I really do love the the pattern here on this wire sort of mesh frame. Um, it comes with a 1.5 millimeter dip nib. Uh, and uh, I believe that there is uh, really just to um, keep the, the nib more rigid. Um, you can actually put other dip nibs in here as well, if you so wish. So you have that pen, um, you have also uh, this, which is a pen rest. So the idea is that basically you sit the pen on that pen rest. Uh, this was really what one of the two reasons why I bought this, is that I have seen this on Instagram a lot, and I did want one of these. So um, I'll show you here if I just put uh, the pen down like so. You can I just remove that. You, you can actually uh, see that that pen resting there. Now, the other reason why I really bought this was the inkwell. And you can see here it says uh, sepia, and uh, it's 15 milliliters uh, that it will hold. But this is absolutely gorgeous. Now, this wasn't cheap. You can get this in this sort of brass effect. You can get it in... Uh, silver as well. The silver was a lot more expensive. Uh, I think I worked out that if I just wanted this alone, uh, the inkwell, then I could uh, buy it in silver or I could buy the whole brass set for about the same price. Um, I did have to import it into the UK, so there was about a £45 import fee. This whole set was about £200. Um, but if you unscrew the cap here, you'll see... Um, it really is just a bottle or jar around this framework. Um, you Now, this would be interesting. I was just thinking, how would you get this in and out? I don't think you can because it, it really is sealed. I think what happens is that they, they put the glass into the framework and then put this on as a sealant. So... Uh, there's no way, I think, of actually getting that out unless you break 
the the uh, inkwell. But this is a beautiful, beautiful inkwell. I really do like that. Uh, and then the, the last thing you get is this. And if I so if I can untie this, this is move that just a little piece of leather. I think really it's more of a uh, leather writing mat, um, or you could put it down here uh, and sort of make it look a little bit nicer. So uh, I'm just going to look through. Um, so the this is called the inkwell is called the Infinite Stars Seljux Wax Ink Bottle, uh, and it's an ornament art. And the body is created in the form of a sphere. We gave an aesthetic appearance by referring to the endless stars and the sky. Uh, it is a brass material. Uh, and I have to say that that really is beautiful. Um, they do say, please do not tighten the cap on the bottle too tightly. Do not carry it full of ink while traveling. Uh, since the surface is varnish, you can wipe it with a wet cloth. So, so that's good. So um, it's e going to be a lot more easier to clean. Now, the stand here, uh, again, is called the Infinite Stars Seljux pen stand and it's based on the art of decoration geometric arrangements were used with advanced techniques in architectural decorations these ornaments multiply one after the other and completely cover the surface eternity lies on the basis of this decorative art representing the stars and you can really see that that is quite stunning uh, again the surface is covered in a matte varnish uh, the places where the pen sits are especially softened in the middle part around support area is left. So uh, that is also nice. So it just means that the pen is going to sit in a little bit of a divot there. And then the pen itself, um, this is the Infinite Stars Cell Jux Dip Pen. Uh, the back part is spirally designed to provide grip economics. It can be shaped by bending slightly. The setting is a matter of preference. You can make it straight again and use it. Please remember that cons constantly bending it will wear out the brass design and may break it. You can make nib insertion by either opening the edge gaps or broadening the four pim parts. Please do not do this unless necessary. Uh, so again, just to be a little bit careful, uh, nib change, you can insert the dip pen nib approximately 1.5 centimeters. Uh, yes, you can actually, I guess you can actually insert it about 1.5 centimeters into the pen. I, I was just wondering if they meant 1.5 millimeters as in the nib. Um, but uh, you can see there, it, it is uh, quite a, um, uh, a stub nib there. Uh, no, no tipping. Um, but I really like this set. It wasn't cheap. As I said, I think I think it cost me about £216 plus about £45. That was with shipping plus £45 import duty. Uh, it came by UPS. Um, so I did have to pay for the customs import duty into the UK whilst it was in shipping. Uh, but it arrived very, very quickly. Uh, I think uh, the order time was about, I want to say, three or four day, three days, I think. Four, well, with a weekend, it was probably four to five days. Uh, so uh, about three working days, I would say. So uh, it was actually pretty good from that perspective. So there you have it. That's my uh, unboxing review of the Sepia Writing Accessories set. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.